How's it guys? Welcome back to 25 Days of Ink. In this series I have been showcasing the Diamine Blue Edition line and as well filling up a fountain pen. So this is day three of 25 and my name is Kelly for those of you that are new here. On my channel, I like to share planner videos, art videos, crafts, recipes, DIYs, mixed media, happy mail and hauls, fountain pens and fountain pen ink, and sometimes we'll throw in a lifestyle video. So if any of those genres sound appealing to you, feel free to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, today I will be showcasing Snowstorm, which is a shimmer ink, as well as... My Lamy Safari Blue Macaroon Fountain Pen with an extra found, fine rather nib. Look at this beautiful color. Gorgeous. Okay. Beauteous. All right. So let's just get right going, okay? And I will set you guys to music. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll catch you folks on the flip side.
folks. Here we go. Swatch time. So here it is on the parchment paper. It's super sheeny and it really, this paper does pick it up. This is Strathmore parchment paper. There's that sample. And here it is on the vellum. And this was definitely puddled everywhere. So it's not completely dry. I think it looks super cool. I love the abstract look of this. And I also enjoy doing it. So, And those will go in my planners at some point. So here is the swatch on my, in my, I should say. Um, Taroko Shop Enigma 68 GSM Tomoy River Paper. It's super duper gray and sheeny, and it's a really nice opaque gray. No feathering on this one. So it could have been, could be just the pens that these two made these two feather. Anyway, super nice. It didn't feather in the, these two, by the way, did not feather in my, what's it? what's inked up book log that i keep so there's that little nugget and then here it is oh, we're going backwards here it is an ink sample actually written with the pen that i inked up with and it's super sheeny it's really picking up the sheen there i hope the camera will pick it up but it really does show the sheen. So that's pretty sweet. And then we have it in my Hobonichi. You see the yellow? The Hobonichi Notebook 52 GSM Tomoe River Paper. I know it. I repeat that. But there are a lot of people who are not familiar. And let's say they just tune into one video. So they wouldn't know. Um, the difference between the papers. So that's why I like to just mention that quickly. So this snowstorm shimmer shows up very nicely as well on this paper. I'm glad I reinstated this log book. So super nice. And then last, but certainly far from least, is my trusty Lloyd's Term 1917, which I um, took my fountain pen logs out of my bullet journals from 2018, the gray one, gray Lloyd's Term, 20, and then I have a pink one that's 2019 and 2020 current. Um, and I did a bullet journal in 2019 in there, and I did not do a bullet journal in there for 2020. I just set up a bullet journal, started doing that in September, so I have it set up for October, and I've been using it, a bullet journal, but not in a Lloyd's term in a Sumpkin notebook. So, in case you were wondering... So I have all my logs together basically now. I tore them out and tipped them in. And this actually shows up sheeny in the Lloyd's charm as well. And again, I don't know if the camera will show it, pick it up or not, but it's definitely in person. You can see it. So, and on my swatch card... which I usually show this before this point, but that's totally fine. It's super, it's a super dark gray. Very, very opaque. It has some black or deep, deep gray throughout. And it shows the shimmer for sure. It's a nice gray. And I'm not a gray person per se, but this is a really nice gray actually. And then here is the pipette. Super sheeny, super shiny, and super shimmery. This is one of the shimmer ink varietals that come in the blue edition. So you have shimmer, you have standard, you have sheen, and you have shimmer sheen in the blue edition. 
I hope you can see that okay. Trying to hold it still. There you go. I think that's a good shot. Okay. And then I inked up in this beauty. I got this quite some time ago. This is the Blue Macaroon. I only have, well, I have several Lammies, um, but only a few because <laughs> I'm so silly. But the way I do things, if I don't, sometimes if I don't know about a nib, I'll just, like I did in this case, get the same exact pen with all the nib sizes. <laughs> Just so I can tell which nib I prefer with which line of pen. Now, I did that a long, long time ago. So, anyway, this is, um, after all of that, then I retested to see again. And when these came out, I got extra fine. So this is an extra fine nib. This is the Lamy Safari Blue Macaroon with an extra fine nib. As you can see. So... It's a nice pen. It just clicks right on. I would consider this a starter pen too, but I would prefer, I do prefer the Twisby Ecos over the Lammies by a landslide. So when I got my first Lammy, they hadn't come out with the Eco yet at that point. So I only have a couple, just actually a few colors of the Lammies, but it writes really well. It's a nice, this is a nice extra fine. So out of all the nib sizes that I got initially, I prefer the extra fine in the Lammies, at least right now. That is my preference as of late. So, all right guys, that concludes day three of 25 days of ink. I hope you enjoyed this rendition of Snowstorm Shimmer. Thank you ever so kindly for watching. If you liked what you saw, feel free to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and have a beautiful day. Peace out.